I'm gonna do with the pink triangles what you need to do with orange, blue, and green squares. We're starting on slide six. The only slides that you have to have answers on to get full credit are six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, slide six says write out the number sequence. All you're doing for this is counting. I start on the first slide, got two triangles, two, five, so two, five, 11, two, five, 11, and then 20. All right, two, five, 11, 20. That's how my pink triangle sequence begins. And again, I got that just by counting. Two, five, 11, 20. Okay, that's what I'm asking for on slide six. Count, get your sequence started. Now I'm gonna copy my answers from slide six onto slide seven and answer the next question. Next question says, what are the recursive rules? Meaning, how do I get from one term to the next for my pink pattern? So, what am I doing? To get from 2 to 5, I add 3. To get from 5 to 11, I add 6. To get from 11 to 20, I add 9. And that in itself is a pattern each time I'm adding three more than I did the time before. Okay, this is a coincidence that the first number that we added was three. If I had done two plus two plus five plus eight, I still would say the same second difference rule. Each time I'm adding three more than I did the time before. That's what makes this a second difference pattern. The differences between my pink numbers is not constant, but the difference of the differences is a constant number. I keep adding three each time. All right, so that is what I'm looking for on slide seven for you to find the pattern in how I get from one term to the next. I'm going to copy this one more time. Remember that we just added 9, so next time we're going to have to add 12, and then after that add 15, because on slide 8, I'm asking what the next three totals are. All right, we just added 9, now we're going to add 12, so 32, and then we'll add 15, 47, and then we'll add 18, 65, and then we'll add... 21 for 86. All right, so slide six, count to get your sequence started. Slide seven, subtract between each term so we can find a pattern in the changes. Slide eight, use that pattern to continue the sequence for a few terms. Slide nine, after you've done all that for orange, blue, and green, I want you to make up your own number sequence. All right, now I do not want a sequence that counts by the same amount each time. Like if I do six plus 10 is 16, plus 10 is 26, plus 10 is 36, plus 10 is 46. That's not what I want. I don't want a sequence like this. But if you make a sequence like this, you can use it to create a second difference sequence. Start at any number, like seven. And if I add these amounts, I'll, I'll have a second difference sequence. So if I do seven plus six is 13, 13 plus 16 is 29, 29 plus 26 is 55, 55 plus 36 is 91, I think. 91 plus 46 is 137. All right, that's a second difference sequence. How do I know it's a second difference sequence? Because each time I'm adding 10 more than I did the time before. Right? Now, that's it. 
That's all you have to do to get full credit on Second Differences Part 2. Uh, you have to do it for the orange, the blue, and the green sequence. So three times to get full credit, and then, and then make up your own sequence.